But anyway, let's get to the verses, man. Yeah, the ver- the, the, the ver- <laughs> Big Daddy Kane versus KRS One. Man, that was an epic night, man. An epic night. So you got the so you got the list of the joints we played, right? Yeah, and then so, um, and you, dude, I didn't get a chance. You actually write. I mean, I mean, I can pull them up either way. Oh, right now, what they did, I could probably pull them up. I think I did, but I don't know if I have uh, it here. Either, either way, yeah, I, I don't think I have it here. Let me see. No, I don't have it here. But um, out of my list, you know, we only did ten a piece, but um, I I had set it off. Lean on me, the symphony, raw, warm it up, Kane, number one with a bullet, which is with him and G Rap, uh, Mortal Kombat. The Kill at Will um, rhyme, Wrath of Cain, and Class of 87. So out of mine, the only thing he didn't do was two, which was number one with a bullet <clears throat> um, and uh, Class of 87. He did the Kill at Will joint, which was from when he, because um, he basically did it as a freestyle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instead of uh, doing it as a song. Um, but, he, you know, most people may not know that's from a song. But still, uh, Class of 87, I, that's the one I would have loved to have seen because it would have tied up the whole verses at the end perfectly because it was all all of them together. It was Big Daddy Kane, KRS, and Cool G Rap. But I think because we didn't get Cool G Rap on the verses, that kind of threw things off. So he was definitely invited, but you know he had some other prior engagements. Um, it wasn't that he didn't want to come. I from what I heard, uh-huh. it was a religious, a religious thing. It's, yeah, uh, it might have been. I mean, I don't know. Um, Big Daddy Kane just said he had a prior engagement that he had already agreed to, so he didn't want to break it. You know, what I mean, whatever it was. So you know, Kane is like that. He don't want to put your business out there. He was just like, look, he had something else that was important to him to do, and he went ahead and did that. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, you might be right. You know, it might have been religious to the point where, yeah. you know, when something real important in your religion, you like, Shh, I ain't missing that bar mitzvah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't missing that quinceanero. Yeah, no, I ain't missing it. I ain't missing But, um, so, yeah, so that that was uh, what happened with that. I was really sad that he didn't get to make it for the symphony because as soon as they dropped that symphony beat, I was like, oh, shit. Here it comes. You know what I mean? I knew. I was like, if they drop that, they got to have the guest appearances. And it was already dope, um, you know, because they had the guest appearances. So let me go back to our list. Now, on Howie's list, he had You Must Learn, The Kenny Parker Show, Self Destruction, The Bridge is Over, Still Number One, Out of Here, Turn to the Boom Bap, I Get Wrecked, and The Underground Joint with The White Shadow. And step into a world. So he did pretty much most of those except about three. He didn't do uh, the underground joint. Uh, he didn't do I Get Wrecked, which was a joint with Tim Dog, uh, <laughs> which would have still been dope because he could have paid homage to Tim, Tim Dog yeah. just like Kane did for Biz. You know what I mean? He could have done it like that. But he didn't think to do it that way. Um, and then he also didn't do the Kenny Parker show. So um, those are the only differences, but we both were pretty sure. They were going to do all the other stuff. You know what I mean? We knew they were going to do a majority of the songs that we picked. Um, I was glad that Kane, you know, did what he did. Now, it's been kind of up and down as far as who won. You know what I mean? I watched Doggy Diamonds, uh, how he thought it went down. Yeah. You know? I didn't watch anybody else's. Um, I didn't watch, like, uh, Black Dot. I I'm guessing he did it on recap, but I didn't see who he chose. But I only watched Doggy Diamonds. Um because I was so busy during the week. I did listen to, uh, shout out to Amber, Ambrosia for Heads. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know about on that. On Spotify, yeah. they, they did like a recount. I don't think they really did like a... Okay. They did they did count, uh-huh. but I don't think, you know, they was kind of like, yeah, it was kind of, um, you know, interpretive. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, go ahead. I was just going to say, I almost forgot. I did watch Hot 97's recap of Yeah, I did watch I did that. Watch this. They kind of leaned towards the side of Kara. Yeah, they, they lean more towards Kara. Yeah, there was a couple of times when I disagreed with them. Oh, yeah. Because I was they, like, I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Cause I was especially when no they were way. talking about fucking, like, I think it was like, ain't no half stepping. Right. And, yeah. like, yeah, that, 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 you know, so yeah, ain't no half stepping didn't beat. 
I'm like, get the fuck out right. of here. Yeah. Ain't no house to like nobody's fucking with that. Right. Exactly. Nobody fucking nobody with that. Nobody's fucking with that. And they downplayed the wrath of Kane as well. I was like, what? Y'all fucking crazy. Y'all crazy man. as hell. You know what I mean? It was only like I think one of them said they picked um the Wrath of Kane, but the re- all the other three of them said nope. They thought KRS won that round, but um I did make um some notes somewhere. I think in one of my phones, but I didn't write it down as far as how they did the verses. Now I did watch interviews afterwards and Kane said Kane said that him and KRS did speak on a um a Zoom call ahead of time about how they were gonna do it. Kane said that he actually wanted to do more with freestyling uh, yeah. and more with the um dancers, but things kind of switched around. He said, you know, they didn't tell each other exactly what they were gonna do, but they kind of gave each other an overview. Okay, let's start by doing a freestyle, then we'll start by going into some song, then we'll go into the B-boys, and then we'll do the but he said that KRS kind of started doing things different. So he was like, all right, well, based on what he's doing, I'm going to do this. You know what I mean? So he kind of switched his up just to kind of follow along with KRS. So One thing I liked about what KRS one did was like, yeah, because he was trying to play it off. Like, yeah, he trying to do the freestyle and stuff. This is a versus. Right. And what he was basically saying was, now this ain't no, not necessarily there's not a real hip hop event. That's not what he was saying. But he's saying like this wasn't yeah the verses is kind of that but it's not that yeah. in the same token so it's like yeah you know it's more of a it's more of a um, what we call it you know what I'm saying yeah. it's more getting people together in like yeah, your twenty yeah. hits like it ain't you know right. it ain't you know it ain't nothing big like that you know what I'm saying it ain't like no you know this ain't Alpha Blood shit. right right you know what I'm saying. But, you know, I did one of my favorite moments, though. Uh, I don't want to cut you off too much, but I apologize. Um, One of my favorite moments, because KRS started talking a little slick. So Kane threw that line out there by MC Shen. Yeah. Man, I was like, I hollered on that when Kane said, yo, that shit with you and Shen, I stayed out of that. You're welcome. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, trust me, nigga, you didn't want me in that. You know what I mean? Oh, no. I could Oh, and and he's right, you know what I mean? Because uh, that was the whole thing. When you were going through it as a kid, I was listening to the whole thing happen in real time. And I kept thinking, damn, if Big Daddy Kane and Cool G Rap started dissing KRS, oh, his career would have been over. Oh, It would have been a problem. But because Kane was, was friends, you know, he yeah, didn't want to jump yeah. in. But go ahead. Yeah, I don't think, well, mm, I don't think it would have been over. Not over, but yeah, it would have been shut But yeah, down. he would definitely been KRS would probably be down like where Shan was. Yeah. So that's one thing Shan was talking about today. Not and not to dis- disrespect Shan, because he still did some stuff afterwards. Um Yeah. But he was saying like, you know, when the verses came on, you know, when they was you know, he said, Yeah, you know, if, if they kept it where, you know, I'm over here, he's over there, and you know, we you know, we ain't doing the right. venues and stuff. If they did it like that, yeah. I would I probably beat Karras. But when it comes to the when it comes to the crowd presence, like a few people could beat Karras. Right. And they know that. Yeah, yeah. A MC Shan people. talked about that. Yeah. yeah. I heard that MC Shan was like, Yeah, he said, um he said that was a perfect versus battle because uh Ain't nobody can really hang with Chris when it comes to crowd hype. And can't nobody really hang with Kane when it comes to the entertainment of dancing and getting the Yo, crowd. Yo, when he did warm it up and got mm, my man Scoop Scrab out there, yeah. and when they even started doing it, yeah, I was yeah. like, yo. yo I lost that shit. Too. Yo, I couldn't, yo, I ain't gonna lie. The whole, I think I might have sat down two or three times. Yeah, yeah. Like, the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, I was, man, everything they were doing, I was mm-hmm. up dancing and stuff. Yeah. Man. I was getting hype off that, man. Yo. Everything, he, all his hits, man, when he played them. But that was the dopest one because, like you said, you got to dance and you got to see him doing his dance. Thing. Yo, that shit was crazy. You're right. I mean, he was moving good. For him yeah. to be 55, exactly. he was moving good. Yeah, and see, man. that's the thing, too. Like, I equate, like, I read this book with Otis Redding. It's a biography called Otis. Okay. And what I equate that to, not that I was back in that, definitely not because I was born in 83. Yeah. So I wasn't back in, you know, with the stacks there and stuff. Right. But what I equate that to was when Otis Redden 
had to go against Sam and Dave. Mm. And the thing of it is, Sam and Dave could dance. Yeah. Sam and Dave could do, they could sing, dance, mm-hmm. and do all that other stuff. And like Otis can't dance. He couldn't right. do that. Like with KRS, KRS is kind of like the Otis. Right. Like, I can't bust your ass on the dancing right. and shit. But that's what Kane, 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 was, Kane and Scrap were like Sam and Dave. They was like, I'll get out there and I can do, you know. Yeah. But, you know, Kyrus ain't going to do none of that shit like yeah. that. Yeah, but that that kind of gave Kane the edge, though, because yeah. Kane, Kane can get the crowd involved. Because remember, he know how to rock the crowd, too. Even though, even without the dance, remember how he went over the fence? It was like, let me come out here and rap in the audience. You know what I mean? When he jumped that fence, I was like, see, Kane know what he's doing. He like you're not gonna sit here and just out uh, perform me, you know. Yeah, I, mean? I, I think I, I get the crowd into this shit too. That's I think that's the thing. I, um, people might say Karras one won that, but yeah, definitely I, I will say like Kane. Yeah, at the performance, he definitely outperformed. Him. Right, because I think there was times that like even though and Karras one, I and I seen, I seen actually it's crazy because I actually seen Karras one. And uh, Big Daddy Kane live. Okay. Now, I'm, you know, they were, now, obviously, it was in their latter years, obviously. But I did see them live. Um, the thing of it is, is I, I think that, uh, you know, Karras, one, he does utilize breath control, but I think he got a little winded. Yeah, early. You know? he, he, started, he started sweating and getting winded a little early on that. Cause see he that's where that's another thing, man. Kane, he can spit them rapid fire, you know, lyrics. Oh, dude. And, and then, you know, still be ready to keep going. You know what I mean? Dude, when he did the motherfucking trap beat. Man, listen. Yo, when I heard that shit, I said there ain't no rapper on earth. Right. Seeing Kane. Exactly. On Earth, nigga. Yeah, man. He got a battle with the aliens. Like, they got me. <laughs> all that shit. You know? Go out on Earth fucking exactly. with Kane, son. Come on, man. Because that, 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 was, that was dope, man. Dude. So, lyrically, to me, as far as maybe, like, if I had to pick lyrically, if I picked KRS, it would be because of maybe, like, metaphors. But Kane got that wordplay to where he can just spit it and so so dopely, no matter what he say, he could just be reading a dictionary and just he'll say it in such a way that you're like, damn, how the fuck did he say it like that? Yeah. You know what I mean? KRS, he'll come up with the clever metaphors, you know what I mean? You know, like I'll read the dictionary back and forth, forth and back, and you know, just kind of give you those dope uh, uh, metaphors like that. You'd be like, oh shit, you know, I hadn't thought about that one. Yeah, I mean, it was both like, they were both displayed yeah. excellences. They, and yeah. I, I, I did appreciate, like, it definitely showed, like, the true school of hip-hop. Right. You know, why we, it really showed why we love this, man. Yeah. It really showed why we love this. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It was just, it was really great. Um, like, a, only, thing I, only thing I will say, like, we'll talk about the, if we could talk about the features, yeah, yeah, I wanted to get into that next, yeah. I like the features. But I was like, especially with towards the end with the when they cut the stop the violence joint. Right. Yeah. I was disappointed about that. Right. Me too. Because man You don't throw on the self destruction oh, beat that and then cut sh- that shit off. That would have been stupid. Why? Yo, that would have been stupid, man. yo. Like like I said, slick uh not slick rip, but uh, Baby Fresh would have came out. Um, you know, Just Ice. Yeah, that's what I, I was expecting. At least see Just Ice out right, there. Right, right. That'd have been crazy. Yeah, that would have been Just dope. Ice. Fucking, you know, they could have done a little something for Heavy Public D. Rest Enemy, in peace. Yeah, yeah. Pub, if Public Enemy came out, man, man, that'd have been crazy. That whole that'd building would have been lit on fire, man. But, that'd have been crazy. So, but yeah, let's talk about the feature. So you know, KRS. I think started it off with um, Das Effects. Uh, I think he was the first one to bring somebody out. He brought them out, I believe. Um, they did the, uh, you know, represent the real hip hop. You know yep. what I mean? So that that was dope. It was a dope um, feature, and then he gave them time to do a little bit of their, you know, bum stiggity bum stiggity bum hunt. I got that old rump up bum pump. And then and then Scratch was like, "Yo, Dre, you need you need quit that shit." Dre. Right. He's like, "You ain't been on stage in a while." Yeah. So like, I, I don't know why he did that. 
Well, like he was walking off the stage, he's just still trying to rap. It's like, what are you doing, bro? I know you want some attention, but no, this ain't your verses. Yeah, I think a lot, and you know, I don't know if you watched the Sway in mm-hmm. the morning. You know, actually, Kid Capri and Scratch kind of had a little, not necessarily falling out. But they didn't see eye to eye on certain things. To my at the verses? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, why I, I certain did, Yeah, I did pick up. That's that. why certain things was going on. But again, we go back to the features. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I I was, but I was just saying, you know, that was um the first one that they bought out um for the features. Uh, of course, you had Buckshot, Karis also bought out Buckshot. Yeah. Um, uh, which another one, I don't know why. I, I get what he was trying to do, but I don't think it landed when he went up to Kane and started rapping at him. Oh, no. I was like, nigga. You don't you, want that. Right. You do not you want that. You just see what this nigga did to the trap me? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, you just, you almost fucked your whole career right Woo! now. He turned it around at the end and said, so like, yeah, you my man, you know, and this and that. Nah, nigga, but you was just rapping at Kane. You Yo. know what I mean? This nigga is beyond legendary. You know Yo. what I mean? Come on now. Some one of his most famous lines, you ain't never said no shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kane said, uh, to be specific, I may die one day, but my rhymes will remain like a hieroglyphic. <sighs> you ain't fucking with shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Come on now. You ain't fucking with shit like that. So I was kind of thrown off, like, what the fuck is Buckshot doing? And when he turned it around, I was like, all right, I'm gonna let it go. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> But Kane was getting tired of that shit when, uh, what was it, when when Drazy from um, Don's Offense was rapping, he was like, KRS, get your man, that's your man. That's your man. <laughs> that's your get man. your man. You know what I mean? Uh, um, it, was, it was also cool to see Mad Lion. Yeah, he brought through. Mad Lion yeah. out. You don't have to wear <laughs> <man> at all. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, that was dope. You know what I mean? Gotta take it easy. What? Yeah, that was a dope feature. Our Kane, um... Bought out nice and smooth. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. Pimpin' um, ain't easy. Pimpin' ain't easy. Pimpin' ain't easy. <laughs> uh, if you remember, I didn't play that on our verses, but I said I was going to. I said I had it on my list. Yeah. Pimpin' ain't easy. Um, so that was dope. And then um, they did Dwick. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was dope. Shout, out, shout out the guru. guru. Yeah, rest in, rest in peace. I kind of felt disappointed because when they were trying to shout out Guru, the crowd wasn't really into it. You know what I mean? And I was like, dang, y'all not really realizing they trying to get, pay respect and homage to Guru real quick before they, you know, leave the stage. And the crowd just wasn't into it. You know, they was cool, but, you know, they wasn't hype. You know what yeah. I mean? So I kind of felt a little disappointed, but um, he went out. That was a big song, too. Bro. Yeah, yeah. That beat, well, as soon as that beat dropped, do, you do, just do, lose do, your do, shit. Do, do, mm, do, mm, do, mm, do. Mm, yeah. So, um,. But then he he brought out with Roxanne Shantae. Yeah. Which I thought was dope. He gave her, he paid so much respect to her as being kind of the foundation of the Juice Crew. Even though she wasn't the original first person, uh, there was more people. But she was the first one to really bring people like him and Biz on. Yeah. She brought Biz on, Biz brought Kane on. And she kind of took all of them under her wing. Coogee Rap, all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Uh, it would have been dope if she did her song, Have a Nice Day, when she dissed KRS. Because, you know, he got the KRS dude. sound like a whack radio station. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a dope bar. You know, it wasn't the best, but it was dope. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, it was, you know, she was right. His name do sound like a, a kind of a corny radio station. You know what I mean? Corny ass radio station. Right. KRS won heaven ass. No, it's not. I only say that because he did both the South Bronx and the Bridges Over. Yo. So it was like, damn, he doing his diss songs. You know, let her do hers. But, you know, I guess they was running out of time. So. Yeah. And then right after that, he bought out the Symphony X. You know, everybody minus Cool G Rap. Yeah. He had uh, Master Ace and Craig G. Craig G. It was still good. No, it was still good. Yeah. It was good to see them get, to get out there. But, yeah, Cool G came out, man. That had been crazy. Yeah. They did a good job. But, I, you know, it would have really been dope if the DJs were D-Nice and Molly Maul. Yeah, see, yeah. and that, that that was the thing, too, that I didn't really understand. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I appreciate uh, Scratch. I appreciate Kid Capri. Yeah. Um, I, pr- I appreciate them both. But, yeah, I, I, especially with the uh, what D-Nice did, you know, this, you know, 
getting people like the motherfucker rocked everybody from a pandemic and shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I figured like, yo, Chris, like that'd be your man. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But I do understand like he was trying to, you know, you know, Bronx and stuff. Oh, and it was cool what Jay, uh, not Jason, but Scratch did with the, you know, 513 up with yeah. Jason joint. That's that shit his, was um, dope. That's one of his famous routines. He's been doing that routine for um like 20 years now. Yeah. Well, every time he does a show, he does it. He'll go under the turntable and come back up with the mask. Yeah, that was dope. And man, yeah. That so, was dope for him keeping it there and then come yeah. back there. I think Kid Capri was getting a little mad because, you know, Kid Capri was throwing little shots at him. So, Kid Capri... Now, this is another thing that was controversial to me. When Kid Capri started rapping, do you remember that part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when I watched, I think it was Doggy Diamonds, one of them said that Kid Capri was actually dissing Kane in the rap. Wow. But I, I didn't take I didn't take it that way. It sounded to me like he was dissing DJ Scratch. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to it because I was like, I don't think he was talking about Not, Kane. Because I think even because because uh, Kane, you know, with the whole thing, yeah, you know, talking about Scratch doing the battle and stuff. Right. He was like, Nah, we ain't gonna do that. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then on top of that, that's like. You're not really being considered because this is a celebration of the, the other two. Like you just, yeah, you just hear the character. Like, nah, you can't be like this is a scratch show. Yeah, because no, scratch, you know, he, he he's he's such a big DJ head. He loves to just battle, so he's so competitive. I I get why he was doing it, but yeah, you gotta relax, man. It's like yeah. this ain't your thing. You ain't Kid Capri. Both of y'all niggas relax. Yeah. Let us do our thing, you know. Yeah. That's why I said it would have been better if it was Molly Mall and D Nice because neither one of them would have been. Nah, it would have been like I don't think it'd have been like that, right? Because they they understood they understand like this is legendary, da da da. And then you know, and you know, shout out the DJs because yeah. on these shows, on these shows, like the DJs have been getting like accolades and stuff like yeah. tech. I mean, well, I don't know about the last one with Fat Joe, yeah, kind of you know. And then what's well, crazy too, man? Like Fat Joe, I ain't gonna say he won or lost, but why did he get to bring them in? Yeah, you know I, don't, what I'm I don't know. I, I never understood which why. one. I mean, I didn't feel too bad about it, right? Because I understand, especially with him, you know, kind of being under yeah. KRS. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then you know, he actually spoke with uh, Big Daddy Kane. You know, he actually had him on interviews. Yeah, he. I mean, maybe he so has I, to do it. I don't know because I yeah. mean, he is cool with both of them. He says KRS is like his idol because of the whole Bronx thing. Yeah, people, and KRS has kind of um, put him on stage as early in his career. To kind of help him get out there, and then he idolizes Kane as well because of such his lyricism. So yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I don't, I don't even think they really needed him, but still, it was cool. Um, but I, uh, what else? Did we miss any other uh, features? Um, we had the Juice Crew Juice feature. Crew, yeah. I was wondering if they were gonna bring out MC Shan. You know what I mean? When he, yo, that would have been crazy, right? Man. That would have been, been crazy. Dope. That would have been dope. But um, but anyway, uh, did we miss any features though? Uh, I, I think that think. was it. I Let's think see. that was nice it. Effects. That was effects. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Mad one. Oh, you know the dancers. We do definitely talk yeah, about crazy the legs. Yeah, B boys. Yeah, shout the, out um, crazy legs. Yeah, uh, uh, Doggy Diamonds was kind of downplaying the um, the original. You know. Puppet hands, you know what Puppet I mean? Puppet hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my man. Then, yo, I was hollering. To, yeah, go put it yeah, because you got me in the back. He don't even <laughs> like, he don't even like his grandpa. He right. don't like abuelo like that. <laughs> <laughs> Puppet hands. Yeah. I was like, y'all need to stop, man. Y'all can't be dissing the uh, pioneers like that. But oh, I, I was happy because I see, I wasn't expecting Kane to rebuttal that you know no. and he came out with crazy legs because you know i follow crazy legs his account on instagram and he's pretty active so i was happy to see him i was like oh shit i wasn't expecting this um but where kane was smarter because he had crazy legs who represented the old school but he also had the young kid who represented the new school so and that's one thing not to cut you out no you could that's something i was happy to see i was happy to see black great dancers oh yeah oh yeah and, and Latino. Yeah, yeah. Because I know crazy, crazy is Puerto Rican, right? Yeah, he's Puerto yeah. Rican. Yeah. But I was glad to see that because white boys and Asians overtook that shit. Yeah. Especially for the fucking uh, Red Bull. And I'm cool with them doing what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? But like the Red Bull joint, it's yeah, always right. like the... I think my joint yeah. right now. 
It's, it's like the white. It's always like white and Asians. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like white and Asian heavy. Yeah, but true. it was that's really good true. to see black and you know Puerto Rican. But again, that's nothing. That's no slight against Asians yeah. and, and the whites doing it because I'm because it's the culture. I'm glad that y'all embrace it to to, right. to you know to, to elevate it to where y'all at now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mm-hmm. definitely want to you know. But I just yeah. want to make that. Mention. But yeah, you good. And I, um, but yeah, I thought those were some great guest appearances. Like I said, we were both a little disappointed with the ending because yeah. you know they they turned on self destruction and then they turned it right back off. So it was like, oh shit, you done got me hyped. Yeah, you know what I mean, then you're not even gonna play this song. Even if you ain't got no guest appearances, you could at least play the shit. Yeah, you could at least got like a verse on. Yeah, something. So you know, and um, and if you if you go back and listen to it, Kane. After his last song, KRS did like four songs in a row. You know what I mean? It was like, what the fuck? What, Which what? I'm, this is something that I was going to say too. Um, I found it really f- interesting that in the in the first round, like early, KRS started going into the medleys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really found that very interesting because uh, especially with someone that already had an extensive catalog. Right. I really found that very interesting. Not, yeah. not, and one thing I will say about that too is I, I like the fact that, you know, he, he probably watched a couple of them. Yeah. To like, okay, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? I could bring this and do this. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can, but it was still kind of weird for me to like, well, what? Right. You didn't, you did medleys like right. right now, like you know, yeah. I'm not slighting them, but it was just, yeah. it was just weird. Yeah, for me. he, uh, I remember he started off with what was it, criminal minded. Yeah, um, and 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 Kane followed up with just rhyming with the biz, and I think I like Kane's approach better because Kane was probably just thinking, let me pay some respects to biz, you know, and show some of my old school stuff, and then we'll get into the heavy hitters, but. KRS jumps right out the gate with Criminal Mind. It's like, uh, I don't think I would have do that out so early. Yeah. I think I would have saved that for a little bit later, you know. Yeah, there are certain song uh, selections that KRS did that was kind of yeah. questionable to me. Yeah, yeah. You know, to me. not And not that they were bad songs. I'm just saying as far as, like, the sequencing and stuff. Yeah. So... But, yeah, overall, man, it was just a dope experience, Yeah, it was still man. great. I, I loved it. Um... I was a little skeptical about how it would go. Um, I felt like it was going to be good, but it did exceed my expectation because I was like, are they going to be able to get the crowd as hype as like the Jada Kiss and uh, the Locks versus Dipset? Because um, with them being old school, a lot of these younger people may not appreciate them as much. But I think there was a lot more elders in the building who knew of their music and who could actually appreciate it. Oh, Little Daddy Shane. He had him there. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And he brought Eric B on stage. Came yeah, yeah, Eric yeah, B on yeah. Stage. Yep, forgot about that. Yeah, um, and I shout out the Big Daddy Kane doing that because, like, all the motherfuckers were doing shooting shots of Fat Joe. Right. It's like there's other people in here. Like, you got fucking bust. I mean, no, no offense to Fat Joe, but you got fucking busting Roms. Yeah. You got all these fucking legends. He, like, Fat Joe's the only one. Like, right. Come on, get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, exactly. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, but, you know, and then uh, a lot of famous people was in the audience, of course. I saw my man Knife Wonder was in the audience. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. From right here in North Carolina. North Carolina. Um, who else? Swiss Beats, of course, was there. I don't think Timberland was there, though. He should have been there. He should have been. It's his he baby. You know, been. both of them, you know, came up with it. He could learn some. He could learn something. That right. Yeah, I'm still going Yeah, you imagine Karis. I mean, well, not Karis one, but still, you imagine Big Daddy Kane or like a. Or on the tip of the beat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. that would be, that would be that crazy. That should be crazy. Bananas, you know what Woo! I mean? Or, or one of them old Timberland <laughs> beats, man. Because Timberland got some of the most iconic beats, man. Oh, man. That shit would so, yeah, be crazy. That would have been dope. But, yeah, I mean, um, I think that was pretty much all I wanted to say, you know, about the verses. Uh, we, you know, we talked about their song choices and yeah, uh, how they compared and the guest appearances. Um, did you want to mention anything else? About yeah, like verses? I said, like you said, there was, uh, like, I'm going to piggyback off of you where you said, like, yeah, it is seed expectations. But it, it's, definitely a, it's definitely a good show where it seeds expectations. 
but there was more stuff they could have done. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I, I You know what I'm saying? And not that it was like it would take or, you know what I'm saying? Like it would take, like it's taken yeah. away that they didn't do that. Yeah, but there yeah, was yeah. definitely more stuff they could have done. There Absolutely. were definitely more, like even, you know, we talked about the features alone. Yeah. They could have. They could have went in that feature bag. Man, they went in that feature bag, son. Man, that, that shit would have been crazy. Man, exactly. That shit would have been crazy. Yep. Hey, damn man, had to shoot up the whole damn bill. Right. <laughs> I need to be somebody behind the scenes who coordinates the verses so I can be like, yo, this, I'm telling you, son, this is how you need to do it. You do this, you do that, blah, blah, blah. End it off with this. Because, I mean, if they ended it off with Class of 87... If they had done, if they had done, if KRS did classic, yeah, and brought exactly. Primo, and brought Primo up exactly. and fucking got and fucking got like Rock him Rock and Nas Kim. and Kanye West, Kanye, with his fucked up haircut, it should been over. Over. Should have been and, over. And that's a more newer song, but even if they did some old like self destruction, that shit would have been over. Yeah, because I was like, dude, man, y'all, y'all, y'all. Kane could have Kane could have brought Jay Z out. Yeah, and everybody was like, and I'm gonna say this too. One thing I learned about this whole verses is that Big Daddy Kane is the perfect MC, and what I mean by that. He's like the total package. Yeah. He's got the sex appeal, Pauls. Yep. Pauls. He's got the <laughs> He he can dance. He can yep. perform. He got hard lyrics. Yep. Dubbed, he did pop stuff or mainstream. I would say mainstream stuff. He's worked with like giants like Prince, you know, Teddy Riley. He can still do that and still go street. He still goes with, you know, he still, you know, cause there's a song. He did with like UGK, so he'll do the down south shit. Right. Like Kane is a like if it gets no better than like it's it's Kane. Right. It's Kane. Kara S kind of represents like I ain't gonna say he's not. I'm not gonna say he's not perfect. Yeah, he he, but he, I he think just leans to certain sizes. He leans, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's kind of like the hair in the back. Yeah, it's like yeah, you can't you can't really do he can't he don't do pop stuff or anything like that. Right. But he's like strictly like yeah, this is he's got more the b boy element. Yeah, to him. yeah. You know what I mean, because he does always try to appreciate the dancers. He just don't do nothing himself, but he tries to make sure make sure he covers that element. And that's another thing too. I was disappointed in. We didn't see any graph writers. We didn't see any oh, graffiti yeah, writers. Yeah, yeah. I would dope. love to see, like, I, and I know they would, it would have been kind of hard to push that in there, but if they could have got, like, you know, what, Phase Two's dead, right? I think Phase Two died. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. So, yeah, yeah. But if they got somebody, they got someone that was well renowned to do, like, right. a little piece real quick. Like, when they, like, if they came out to the stage or something, did a piece. Yeah, yo, that's my man. They and they would have had like the four elements yep. there. That would have been great. But, um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, again, like, I know they couldn't have done all that. Yeah, but that would have been dope. That would have yeah. been dope. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, man, I'm 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 still off on a high from that. Yo, so for real. I've been anxious to talk about it. So, I'm sorry if we ran a little bit. But, yeah, we both been just waiting because. Uh, yeah, this show about damn near two hours. Right. We ain't never did that before. Right. <laughs> so. But, um, but yeah, so you know, we'll 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 definitely uh, be back next week. We'll probably talk more about like the Wu Tang saga, yeah, because uh, that's an ongoing thing. And uh, hopefully, we'll hear about who's the next verses by then. But I'm still hoping we get that EPMD and Run DMC or LL and Buster. Man, I'm telling you, either one of those will blow my mind, man. I like EPMD. Just thinking about it. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> I was thinking Public Enemy, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. But I think... Mm, I don't know. Yeah, though. I think... But I, that Bomb Squad? Yeah, ooh. yeah. Ooh, that would be a battle, though. Yeah. Just with that, that those sounds. Mm-hmm. And then with the Bomb Squad, they could bring back Kane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very true, very true. <laughs> man. God, man. There's a lot they could do. Oh, that. man. There's a lot they can do with oh. the first and stuff, man. So, but yeah, man. Like I said, um, I think that's pretty much it for me. Did you have anything else? Nah, uh, that's it. Right, we appreciate uh, y'all hanging out with us, all three of y'all. All three of y'all. Um, uh, 
This has been episode 182. 182. Um, please don't forget, hit the buttons. Like, like share, share, subscribe. Like, like share, share, subscribe. Like, like share, subscribe. subscribe. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and we sisters. might see a Umar Johnson versus <laughs> with uh, Tariq Nasheed, you know. Fellas, y'all settle it this way, you know, on a stage in front of the crowd. I would like to thank Swiss Beats tonight right. <laughs> for having me over here. And yeah, the one of the battles be like, yeah, don't say things three times. Right. We want to lose that shit. To read the shit be like, <laughs> where the school at, bro? Where the school at? <laughs> the school is coming and it's being allocated. Right. The funds are being allocated and the school is getting put together. The funds are being... Yeah, yeah, Umar, you already said it right. once. You can't say it three. I'm going to make this point. Right. The funds have been allocated. Oh, man, that would be the shit. Oh, man. But anyway, man, uh, for yeah. episode 182, this is your man, Kurt, and this is Howie. And we'll see y'all next time, all right? Peace. Peace.